Today we're going to look at the new update for Explain Everything. This is Explain Everything version 2.0. So if you're familiar with a lot of the great features of Explain Everything, they're all still intact, but they have added some really nice updates that I'd like to walk you through today. So first we're going to start by creating a new blank project, and you'll see they give you some color templates. If you just choose the blank white one, you'll see that the colors are actually on the bottom of the screen. So what the first thing you'll notice is before you, you'd have to click on the pen to change your color. Colors are now available on the bottom and they actually give you three by default. So if I didn't want pink, I could tap and hold on pink and change it to yellow. I could change my opacity if I wanted it to be a highlighter. This is a really nice change in having to go into the pen tool every time you wanted to make an update. If you look on the left side of the screen, you'll see a lot of the features still are the same. The icons might look a little bit different. We have our arrow, which is our to move objects. We have our new slides, our pen tool, shapes, text tool. This is our insert document. We'll talk a little bit about that in a second. Delete, we have our trigger. We have a, a tool here that actually allows us to move objects front and back and arrange them on the screen, which is kind of a nice tool. We can also lock objects now. Our undo, oops our undo, our zoom, and our minimized screen so that we have more screen real estate. On the bottom, you'll notice that not much is different. We still have our slide organizer here, so this shows that we're on slide one of one, our control tools. On the bottom where you see the timer, that's actually a new feature that allows us to see what we record in a timeline view, which is really helpful. So if you're familiar with iMovie or any type of video editing, it gives you the option to see where you are in real time. So it's a brand new feature, really nice. And then our exporting features are on the bottom left. So to get started, I'll show, we're gonna start by looking at the add documents or insert objects. And what's different is before you can insert a photo, only this time we can insert a video. So to insert a photo or video, I'm automatically connected to my camera roll. But let's say on the bottom of the screen here, I wanna connect this to my Dropbox. I can tap to log into Dropbox and it's gonna ask if I wanna connect my accounts and I'll just say allow. And then what that's gonna do is give you the options to insert different types of objects. Again, before, all we could import was a picture. In this case, I'm actually going to insert a video. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And once it's done, the video is inserted into my screen. What's kinda of nice about this video is I can actually play the video and I can move it around and I can play the video as I'm recording so if I was to click record you'd see my timers going and as I'm as I'm playing the video I'm also recording my voice when I hit pause the video stops and in my timeline I can now see the video moving in real time I can also see when I'm starting to play that video so if I want to move it a little bit further I can see where the video starts again really nice feature Put the timeline away I can also write on the video in real time so let's say I want to zoom in the video a little bit we'll turn down the volume but I can actually use my writing tool here and I can write directly on the screen as the video is playing again really nice update another nice feature is you can actually import files as well so if I didn't want to update or upload a file I could upload a PDF right directly into my explain everything. So here's a PDF. So again, it happens to be on the water cycle. I can click choose and it will load the document. What's great about this is it gives you that ability to do real time editing, highlighting and annotating. And you can scroll the entire document. So let's say I wanted to start by having this video here and this time I'm gonna choose my highlighter. And now I can actually record myself annotating and highlighting. So let's say I want to a little bit thicker of a pen. I tap on my pen tool, get a wider width, and now it becomes a highlighter. I can highlight information in real time, talking through my project. Again, a really nice update. Again, it, oops. I can move the document and the pen marks stay the same. In addition to being able to upload uh, PDFs and videos, which is new and explain everything, they've also given the ability to have integrated from Google Drive. So let's say I want to take something from a Google Drive 
I can connect my accounts and I can update from a Google Drive project. So here's a bunch of folders. And what it won't do is it won't take a, a live Google document, but it will take anything that you upload into the Drive as a file. So it won't take something that I've created as a native Google Doc, but it will take anything that I upload to my Google Drive as a file, which is nice to know. The same with the importing from Google Drive. I also now have that ability to send it right back out to Google Drive. So again, I have the option to export to Movie Roll, I have the option to export to YouTube, and I have the op option to export to Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, or a web dev. Again, a really versatile tool. One thing I want to show in the beginning here, so if I go back to my home button, we'll say we don't want to save our project, is you can also send projects. So let's say I wanted to send that project as a template. I could also send it to Google Drive as well. So I could export the project as a Google into my Google Drive or my Dropbox. So let's say you wanted to create something for students, they can go into Google Drive or they can go into Dropbox and then open it automatically. The other nice tool is the new projects from images, which is the second icon up on the top. It allows you to create multiple slides at one time based on images. So if I was to create this and click done, my new project would have three slides about the water cycle that I can annotate and record. The last thing I'll show is the preferences pane on the front here. It's the little gear in the upper left hand corner and you can see here's where I have the option to change how what types of movies I'm exporting, the quality of the movies. I'm also can change whether or not I want to record with a front face camera. So now I have the ability to record with my camera directly into my explain everything. And then I also have control of my accounts here on the far right side. This is especially useful if sharing an iPad between classrooms where you can quickly disable an account and the next time it's logged in, that user would have to use their own information. Again, this has been a not so brief update of the new features available in Explain Everything 2.0. And again, it just goes to show what a powerful, versatile app this is and why it's a must-have for every classroom. Thanks for watching.